it back over to David. All right, Chris, thanks very much. Well, guys, hang on to your razors because, believe it or not, the mustache is making a comeback. And get this, and so is the pigeon. And get this, <laughs> you no longer have to be an actor from the 70s to pull off a really memorable stash. Burt Reynolds had a great one. So did Albert Einstein. Geraldo still has his, Alex doesn't. The mustache, long a symbol of the hard-living, fast-driving men of the 70s. It fell out of favor, and for many women, rightfully so. It's hairy, it's gross. They make guys look older, but they also remind me of my uncles for some reason. And for young men in their 20s, the mustache is facing extinction, until now. This is Jay Delaval. He's starting a movement to bring the mustache back. You might even call it a revolution. The time we're living in is definitely an anti-mustache time. And so we got to wear it and stand behind it, and it won't be associated anymore with the kinds of people that turn women off. So who is associated with wearing a mustache? Mostly cops, WWF, NASCAR fans, assistant basketball coaches, and, you know, many men over 40. My wife hates it. I think I kissed my wife twice in 31 years. Jay's new documentary follows 35 20-somethings as they grow mustaches. Some flourished. It works. It works. It works with the ladies. Others faltered. Each hair represents another aspect of my life that's going down the toilet. But they all look up to the same man. Tom Selleck, Magnum P.I. When you're looking at yourself in the mirror with the stash, there is porno music, 70s porno music playing in the background, even if it's not there. Hollywood is also getting on board with younger stars leading the way. I wish you had a pencil and mustache. Through the years, the mustache has taken on many different styles. There's the handlebar mustache, the dolly, the Wild West mustache, the pencil thin, and of course, the shallot, an NBC staple since 1968. Whatever style you prefer, it's all in the grooming. You got it too long. It's too long right now? Too long, yes. Yeah. Does it look foolish? Yeah. It does. Any way you cut it, the stash is back. Have you ever kissed a guy with a mustache? No. You want to? <laughs> but for most of us, this growing trend was better left back in the 70s. <laughs> I think that's a little bit unfortunate, that last image. I'm here with Jay Delaval and some of his mustache-growing cohorts behind us. Oh, you guys don't look like you're right out of the 70s or anything. Come on. As well as Wendy Diamond, who, of course, is host. Rock the stash. All right. Wendy Diamond is also here, of course, the host of Style Network's Relationship Rehab. Welcome to all of you. Jay, it's, it is, it's a look, is what it is. It's a look. Tell it's me a what, life. what motivated you to do this? You know what? It was just a good idea at the time. I thought some, I needed to do something. The stash came to mind. You know, I said, let me try this. I think it could right. be funny. I think it could bring a lot of joy to people. I started doing it, and people responded, and it just grew. But it, is, it hard, is it hard for some of your pals to actually get used to wearing the stash? You, you know, I mean, you'll find when you watch the documentary, yeah, it has been a, an experience. It's not easy for a guy to grow a mustache, especially when you're under 30. You've probably never done it before. Right. Now, Wendy, part of this is I've had a mustache and a beard before for about three, four minutes until my wife said take it off. But uh, it, it, wearing a mustache is definitely a throwback. Stigma attached? How do you feel about this? I mean, I think mustaches, I go back to the 70s. Welcome back, Cotter. You know, like a lot of times in those porn films, you see the directors and everybody wearing the mustaches. I think it basically kind of, in a way, to me, it looks like, you know, going back, but there's the new goatee, so there's, you right. know. Tur bottom line, though, turn off, turn on. I think it depends. I mean, different people like different things. I mean, some right. women must love mustaches, some people don't. So kind of, you get back. All right, so Jay, I mean, you look at these guys here and you see kind of different role models along the way. Who are your mustache wearing role models? My personal mustache wearing role models include Raleigh Fingers of the Oakland A's, right. Sam Elliott, Burt Reynolds, Tom Selleck, Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan's got a, a miraculous mustache. Tom Selleck, no question, would be the real standout. Well, I don't know why I had to get the Hulk Hogan mustache, by the way. <laughs> Billy D. Williams comes to mind as, uh, as well. Um, what, if if women are going to get together with a guy who's got a mustache, what, what demands are they going to place on him? 
Well, there, I there's think, upkeep involved. Well, I think definitely if a woman is going to like somebody that has a mustache, you're either attracted to that type of person or not. And, you know, you better have, like, easy skin, right? Because if it rubs against the skin, the women is going to have, like, complexion problems. It's going to, you know, get redness in there. And also I think women who like mustache is kind of like a little bit more of a, you know, kind of sexier right. kind of guy. Jay, what is it, what, is it, does it uh, for you guys too, does it change your personality wearing the mustache? Who are you with the mustache? And might I point out the glasses? Well, ah! let, let me just say that I'm not nearly this cool without the mustache. Really? Okay? Inside all of us, gentlemen, there's a little piece of cool just waiting to be unleashed when you rock the stash. Ladies, ladies out there, yes or no, would you kiss a man with a mustache? Yeah! I think I'm going right? to get a bit lucky today. How's that working for you, right? You guys are here. I'm going to get lucky today. Are you, trying, are you trying to hide anything with the mustache? We're going to say goodbye. Good luck. Good luck with the Thank documentary. You so Thank much. you for being here, Wendy. Very, Thank very you, interesting. <laughs> guys, thanks very much. Thanks Thank for your enthusiasm. You are trying to hide.